my people my people on a day welcome back to my channel if you know this is your first time of checking us please don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to watch the video to the end i love you let's get started okay we'll go to file then you click on new then five inches by five inches then you create click on create so you get it like this so first the next thing you are going to do you are going to come to this place you are going then you click on gradient then we'll click on here this place then we'll go to our view we already have preset customize preset from photoshop then you come to this place click on this place then you hit ok then you come here then you click on reverse so you get something like this hit ok so the next thing you are going to come you are going to click on this place you drag in your this is your background don't worry i'll create i'll drop the link for it how to download it or to get it for free you get it like this this like this it okay so the next thing you are going to do going to your filter camera roll then you open your basics the next thing you are going to do you click on black and white so automatically you convert the black and white you increase the contrast a little bit the texture a little bit then you reduce the black a little bit then the shadow too you reduce it just reduce it then increase the clarity small yeah like this then you hit ok so you get something like this then you now come to your blending option then you click on either soft light or or overlay so let's use overlay so the next thing i going to do is to click on this place our, our object bring it like this so you are going to reduce it reduce it click ok but before that before that let's try and work on the text the text is hello h o h e l l o then we'll change the font to good time we increase it like this change we we'll reduce the spacing in between the text so this will we'll reduce to 50 minus 50 minus 50 we we'll increase it a little bit like this yes like this so the next you are going to do we're going to add stroke to it you go to blending option then you click on your stroke you follow the setting inside or oh, let's just change it to outside outside white color then the size is one opacity 100 let's reduce the opacity to 60 64 it okay then you now come to this place you reduce the fill to zero this is what you get this is what you get oh it's not showing that much so let's go to this blending option. You click on the stroke, then we increase your opacity a little bit to 83. Please, I can see it here now. Then you now duplicate it. You hold your alt key, alt button, alt key. Then you drag it, do the same thing, do the same thing. We are going to okay before that sorry before that there's something i need to teach you guys before that you come you right click and convert to shape yeah you convert to shape here then you now click on your direct uh, path selection tools then you now click on this side oh sorry it's not part is direct selection tool then you now click on this part to increase it a little bit like this yes this is how to do the text for some of us that don't know how to enlarge some text. So this is it. Very, very simple. 
So you now duplicate it now with your alt key, alt and shift, then you bring it down, alt and shift, you bring it down, alt, oh, sorry, alt and shift, or you can press ctrl J if you wish, or alt and shift is the best, bring it down. So we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, duplicate it six times, you group it. Then increase it. Then control G on your keyboard to group. Then rename it to hello. Like this. So this is it. This is what we have. So now bring it down. So now you can work on this picture. You can work on it. So the next thing we are going to be doing is writing our match, which is the month. The month, so we're going to bring our text, click on text, then write match capital letter A M A R C H. Yeah, match it okay. Come to this place, then we now select our our this thing. I think the font is by Bylon, Bylon, I Bylon. Then this it, you increase it a little bit like this to the size of this hello yeah, like this so we can see please stick to the to the end i have some things to show you at the end so that you can you can see what we what i've done then click on this so for some of us will be surprised how i do it okay this font is a special font so and all these special font is they had some things attached to it so maybe in my next video i will explain more about that so to make it more beautiful i'll come to the polygon tools polygon tools then i'll now draw my polygon i'll draw my polygon like this yes using white color i'll change the color to white double click sorry double click on this but this she is this thing then you convert it to white you bring it down to your C to the middle of the C then you duplicate it to R bring it to R here yes this is what you get let me zoom out so that you can see what we've gotten so far this is it so what we are going to do we are going to convert this mesh to shape then we are going to merge all of them together made shape then the next thing you are going to do you are going to press ctrl j to duplicate then you press your right hand side arrow three times one two three then down two times one two so then you now right click then you see blending option then we are going to work on the gradient overlay so let this is it is how to pick this one is already customized so how do i do it let me delete it so that we can pick it afresh delete 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 okay to pick you just come to this place this is the customizer and you click on this place you now select color from me you pick color from me like this this is the black then you click on this place it automatically bring another then you click on this place to bring another and then you double click it you select the lighter blue which is this one you click then you click on this place still then you double click you pick this blue again then this place you double click you pick this blue so automatically it will give you something like this like this it will give you something like this then you hit ok ok then you now let me hide it, hide it. then you bring it down so this is what you get automatically then you create a new layer above this first poly um, polygon layer then you go to your 
brush too. Here's my brush. This is my brush. You can increase and reduce it. Then you click on this place. You pick the light color. And you can still pick the same color we used here. So you hit OK. Then you splash this place. Splash it to give it more effect like this. Like this. So I'll reduce it. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to this place and click on scream or overlay scream will be okay then i'll reduce the opacity yes like this i reduce opacity to 54 54 so i'm going to group it ctrl g and rename it to match match then this layer to make this our character look more real to make it look more real i reduce it a little bit hit ok then i'm going to create a new layer then i'll go to my brush press b on the keyboard and you can just increase it then change the color to black change the color to black then click on it then Ctrl T, then click on this place to reduce. So you are going to come. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to create a shadow. So like this, click OK. Then I'm going to reduce the opacity. Reduce the opacity. reduce the opacity yeah like this so we can see it's now looking we are seeing the guys ascending up so now we're standing then we are going to group it again and all right x x yeah so the next thing i'm going to do is the la the next thing i'm going to do is to add some effect to the head so i'm going to bring this sorry for that increase it to add a light i see light is coming to his head it's okay come to blending option you change it to screen so you can increase it more you can see you can see how it is before after yeah, so this is how we get the effect done. So the next you are going to do, next you are going to do is click on this, click on Control Shift Alt E. This is the promise I promise us. No, this is not the promise. This is not the last, but second to the last. Okay, you click on your camera or you just want to work on it. You increase your contrast. You reduce your highlight a little bit. Then your black reduce. Then increase the texture. Clarity increase. Then increase your vibrance a little bit too. Then details increase it. Then you come down your effects. You reduce. So you get something like this. Then you hit OK. So this is the promise. I this thing I want to do now many people have been asking me and some don't know it so how to add this effect on your work so i'm giving us a bonus tip now so this is it you come to your this place uh, create a layer uh, adjustment layer then you come to color lookup then it will now show you these three three and then go here the first one you click on the first one you see this first, this first one, second uh, strip stripe, Abby. Look, then you eat on it. So automatically, you see, before, after. So this is it. If you know you find this useful, you can give me a, a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. So this is the new one we did. Let's see the former one I did. This is the former one I did. This is it. You can see these are new one can see so thank you 
for watching. I love you. Bye-bye.